the new batch of mail it's here so let's open it up first the small guy padded envelope and just small thing inside I cannot feel what it is Okay, and it is a bunch of diodes. I don't remember ordering diodes, so this comes as a surprise. Okay, yeah, those are signal diodes for one of my projects. Hopefully you will see what is it about. Par avion. Nicely padded envelope and I have no idea what it contains So the best thing is to see Bubble wrap Bubble wrap, <laughs> okay What do you know? This is as you probably may see, a bunch of RGB LEDs. Very nice. It is 5 mm, I think. And 10 or 15 of them was, you know, $1 shipped. It's practically nothing. Uh, okay, different length pins. So which one is which? Which is cathode? Which are which is anode, I have no idea. We'll test this one a bit later. So very nice this thing. This one, something a bit stiff inside. Maybe some, okay, I think those are two um, and a half, is it a two and a half? Anyway, some connectors, I think. This male and female connector like uh, you know what male and female connectors do connected you can probably read it here but um first I cannot read it on camera and uh, I'm trying not to yeah nice so six up connectors This will come in handy for some of my projects, definitely. And the uh, ad was, or the, you know, the listing on eBay was very funny with this. The male connector was wearing mustache and female connector was wearing lipstick or whatever. It sounds stupid, but yeah, it made me buy these ones or choose this seller. So yeah, some some imagination is 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 useful and nice next up uh, as usual padded envelope I cannot feel anything something small is inside probably the big envelope is too large for it anyway hmm? <laughs> the machine could not pick like this somebody you know Somebody, it's a small cushion, cushion of components. Somebody's manual and creating these things, and yeah, well, it must be a really tedious thing to do. And I'm sure they are, you know, underpaid at least. And here we go. Oh, I cut through the little bag. Uh, but anyway, 2N3904s. 2N3904s. And it's 50 of them. Yeah, I just wanted to do some project with this. You will see in time. And lastly, the big one, some 
cable, I think, or something like this. I don't know why I'm forgetting what I ordered. It's a bit ridiculous and maybe even boring. Ah, okay. It is so maybe because I buy, you know, junk that sometimes I don't need. So what this is is RTL SDR receiver. So I will do a video on this. Uh, it is meant to be television like DVB-T and. Uh, FM radio receiver, but actually it is a little wide band receiver which goes from a couple of hundred kilohertz maybe, I'm not sure exactly, or maybe 25 megahertz or something like this, up to maybe 1 gigahertz, so it covers lots of bands and um, uh, ham operators are um, finding new uses for this you know you, you can also um, receive the signals mm, low frequency like it's HF and uh, um, MV and whatever signals with this with some additional mod uh, additionals and modifications to this uh, and yes, it is a nice little thingy. I will play with it. Okay, these connectors are easy to break, so I will not do this too much again. So yes, I will play with this a bit and uh, hopefully make some useful videos also. And yeah. DVB-T, DAB and FM, so uh, digital video broadcast, digital audio broadcast and uh, FM radio, like analog FM radio, team means terrestrial. I am not exactly sure how to drive these things, so I just connected the minus to the shortest lead and from the structure inside, uh, probably it is, uh, you know, common uh, cathode. So I set the current limit to 20 milliamps or so. So let's see what it does. Let's increase the voltage it's under constant current, a uh, constant voltage mode still. Mm, and yes, something is wrong, obviously. Too much volts and zero amps. And it's just not drawing any, any current, so yeah, something is wrong. I changed polarity. Switched it, so let's see what happens now. And this is a bit embarrassing, isn't it? So, fail. Okay, let's see it like this. And bingo. This is actually pretty pretty bright beast. Yeah. Let's see it connected like this. Mm. 
nothing. And like this. Okay, now it's green. So obviously, hmm, the cathode is here on the second pin. Well, I don't know my RGB LEDs, but that seems kind of strange. I would expect the cathode to be on the end, not in the on the second pin like this. Let's connect it like that. And now it's blue. So it is red, green, blue. Hmm. RG, RGB, red, green, blue. Okay, this is about right. So there you have it. They are really bright. Blue is, wow, very bright. Okay, blue draws 3.1. Volts at 20, around 20 milliamps. Green, 3.1. And it's really bright too, I was wrong, not only Blue is bright and red it gets to 30 milliamps at only 2 volts, 2.1 volts. So let me try to connect these two together to see what we get. Yeah, you can see or cannot see, depending on my camera, which is not very good. And sorry about focusing problem, yeah. The green lights a little bit before blue, then blue. It's an all, yeah, it is kind of turquoise color. And if you see the projection of my, on my scope here, you can see, if I hold it like this, it looks green. If I tilt it, you can actually see the green part and the blue part, two projections from the dice inside. And let me try to hook up the red one somehow. Let me connect it like this. I think it is red and blue. If I'm not mistaken. The contact is obviously not good. Uh. What the? It's still red. Uh, let's just connect all three together. Try not to short circuit with the ground. And yeah, red kind of kicks everything 
everything off. Uh, maybe I should increase current draw. Yeah, okay. Because red fires at 2.1 volts, um, it just overwhelms the other colors, obviously. I'm sorry you cannot get this camera very well. Let me turn off the lights, maybe. Let me increase the current a little bit. So, yeah. And it's fried. So, it's always nice to play with LEDs. Everybody loves LEDs. I hope I'll think of something useful to do with this. Maybe drive them with Arduino. Um, create something nice. And anyway, thank you for watching and see you next time.